What's going on, booba tubers? Your pal Snifty here. Today we're going to add to the hog chapter series and talk about the safety officer and what the safety officer's role and responsibilities are to the hog chapter and its members. We'll be back right after this. To start this video off with some sights of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, if you've never ridden the Blue Ridge Parkway, you have to do it. <laughs> it's really awesome. Anyway, let's get to the, uh, the the duties of the safety officer. The first thing, the primary focus of the safety officer is to bring safety information to the membership of the Hog Chapter. What does that mean? Well, uh, during the meetings, uh, they'll usually stand up and. Um, go over maybe some safety gear, riding gear. Uh, they should be hunting safety courses that the membership can take. That could be riding courses. It could be the likes of um, medical kind of courses. The, the one that I took was, I took two of them. One was Stop the Bleed. And that's available to the, through the Department of Homeland Security, which is really great. Look, if there's an accident on the road, do yourself a favor, take one of these courses, be able to help one of your buddies or downrider, right? Maybe he's unconscious, know what to do. It's really important to stop the bleeding until professional help can get there. They teach you the do's and the don'ts. Again, it's called Stop the Bleed. Um, we're fortunate enough that a hog chapter that's local, another hog chapter, I should say, that's local to us, uh, the director of that chapter is an EMT, and he is one of the guys that leads uh, Stop the Bleed in our area. Great guy, does a fantastic job. It's a worthwhile course. Another course is accident scene management. What do you do when there's an accident? Somebody needs to take responsibility. Maybe there's uh, 30, 40 bikes and uh, something happens. Somebody needs to take control of that situation and kind of start barking orders. It's really important that somebody knows what to do and does not panic. Traffic control, who's going to call for help, uh, who's going to help the rider, who's going to move everybody, who's going to look out for the ride, the rest of the pack. And a lot of times, uh, because of uh, the chaos of an accident, people are all over the place, and you know somebody needs to corral them into a safe place. Uh, if there's bikes in the road, move them out of the way, right? Because, you know, people are rubbing it, rubber, rubber. <laughs> people are rubber. <laughs> I can't even say. People are rubbernecking. They're watching and they may not be paying attention to the road because you're there and uh, you may become part of the accident scene. Don't do it. Get off the road. Get to a safe place. But more importantly, be able to help take some of those courses. So that's one of the first things that a safety officer should be bringing is uh, is courses, what you guys can take. Some of those courses are free. Stop the Bleed, again, it's through the Department of Homeland Security. It's free. Just do a Google search for it. You'll figure it out. Easy enough. Um, the other classes, there's a fee, uh, but it's well worthwhile. Uh, the, the guys that do it in our area are really, really great. Okay, next topic is safety preparedness on the rides. Safety officers should be focused on this. And in my opinion, this is their primary purpose. What happens if there's an accident? I'll go back to uh, a few minutes ago where uh, some people in the club, <laughs> safety officer, head road captain, maybe all the road captains, should hopefully uh, be willing to sign up for a car course like Stop the Bleed, uh, again, Department of Homeland Security runs that, and it's free for the for the for anybody who signs up for it. All you got to do is a couple of Google searches in your area, and you should be able to find something. Um, also, courses act like accident scene management. It's huge. It's huge. I can't tell you how much I learned by being in that uh, in that course. It uh, was one full day, uh, two full days. I'm sorry, uh, the weekend. And uh, it really went over what to expect and how to deal with an accident. If there's an accident in the club, 
you know, who's going to be responsible? You need somebody managing the scene of the accident, and managing it as a whole, barking orders. Call the police, call emergency services, get off the road. You do this, you do that. Go get those members off the road. Go move those bikes. There's somebody that's got to manage all of that. Um, then there's other people that maybe they, they'd like to specialize in actually helping people, right? Incoming, stop the bleed, but also maybe hopefully a couple of people are, uh, are trained in CPR and God forbid you need that. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that day. Uh, but what if you need it? It's, it's good to have some members in the club that actually are trained. Um, I won't say medically, but, uh, there are courses out there safety and first aid courses and hopefully a couple people are willing to take you benefit yourself as well as everybody else why not take them so things like that you really need to be focused on that if you're the safety officer um, in the event that there is a problem maybe it's just a breakdown right we'll get away from the bad stuff maybe it's just a breakdown everybody's stopping uh, everybody should have their flashers on hopefully people have LED lights in one of my next videos uh, my brother got me a pretty cool LED light, and I want to show everybody, so I'm going to do a video on that. Uh, but there should be some kind of LEDs flashing everywhere. The more, the better. And uh, why? Because especially if it's later at night, and you're at dusk, or uh, maybe it's dark out, you need people to see you on a bike, right? We kind of blend in. Everybody's got dark colors, especially now, blacked out motorcycles. Y y you kind of bleed into the darkness, right? You need those lights flashing so people know that you're there. So uh, nothing catastrophic happens that while you're waiting for a tow truck, whatever it is. So, yep, important. Also, the safety officer should be involved in risk assessment, working with the head road captain minimally, uh, maybe some of the other officers as well in the club to assess uh, the club's risk as well as the individual's risks on a ride based on how we're operating the rides. It's always a good thing to uh, just go over some of this stuff and uh, in review the policies procedures the way that uh, maybe uh, you get on the highway a way that you take a lane the way that you're working through traffic lights and stop signs right all of that should be reviewed maybe there's a better way of doing something uh, another thing is incident investigation safety officer this is your job something happens um you are tasked with investigating what happened, what went wrong, what can we do better individually as well as a club, right? So investigate the problems and uh, work with the other officers, the head road captain minimally, and try and figure out, again, how we do things better so we, we don't have this happen again. That's really the gist of the safety officer uh, position in a Harley Davidson, uh, in the Harley owner group in uh, the hog chapter. So uh, any comments, questions, drop them down to the bottom line. Help the sucker out. If you uh, got anything out of this video, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell and the notification bell.